the symbolism of the pig. Today, there are many different types of pigs. Black and white pigs, like the Saddleback or Gloucester Old Spot. Curly-coated pigs, like this blonde Mangalitsa pig. There are Tamworths and Razorbacks. Lop-eared. Feral. and domesticated pigs. There is the endearing looking Hereford hog. Old breeds and new breeds. and a whole host of other pigs of different shapes, colours and sizes. So what can possibly give all these different breeds common symbolism. The negative symbolism and the similarity of the pig to humans. The negative symbolism of pigs is almost all derived from their remarkable similarity to human beings. George Orwell's portrayal of them was accurate. They are intelligent and learn very quickly. Pigs are the only animals that can become alcoholics. Pigs can become morbidly obese. The same bacteria and viruses attack pigs as humans. Not only do pigs and humans suffer from the same pathogens, the pathogens can also be passed from pigs to humans, and vice versa. Washington State University Zoonosis And thus the pig has an unjustified reputation and symbolic association for being unclean. Pigs in the wild are neither unclean or full of bacteria. Exposure to all animals can result in problems for some people.
but exposure to pigs is especially problematic. Some organs can function in both pigs and humans. The plans to use pig hearts in human heart transplant operations were rejected. In summary, so, as we can see, some of the symbolism attached to pigs is connected to their being like humans. And if humans did not keep pigs in inhumane conditions, none of the negative symbolism would exist. And we can conclude that the negative symbolism is almost wholly unjustified. Positive Symbolism Playful Pigs play with each other and with other species. The Pig Olympics are for specially bred and trained piglets. Events include pig racing, pig swimming and pig ball. In touch with heaven. Wild pigs had none of the symbolism associated with pigs now. And this is because the male pigs, the boars, had tusks. Sometimes two tusks, sometimes more. And tusks are symbolically the same as horns. As such, the wild boar was a sacred symbol to all the people in countries that had wild boar. The Picts, the Celts and the Norse. For example, this is a stylized Celtic boar. This is a stylized Pictish boar, found at Dunad, Scotland carved into the inauguration stone of the kings of Dariada. And the boar in Norse mythology is the means of ecstatic transport of the gods. A boar called Gullinbursti, meaning gold mane or golden bristles, is the boar that the goddess Freya rode. The story of Gullinbursti's creation is related in Snorri Sturluson's Prose Edda. Sindri laid a pigskin in the hearth and bade Brocha blow and did not cease work until he took out of the hearth that which he had lain therein. He blew until the smith took the work out of the hearth and it was a boar with mane and bristles of gold. Then Brocha brought it forward his gifts. To Freya he gave the boar, saying that it could run through air and water better than any horse, and it could never become so dark that there should not be sufficient light where he went. Such was the glow from its mane and bristles. <laughs> <laughs>